the relationship and always take away something positive from it. You never want to leave a relationship and be like, okay, what the hell was that? Don't even think of love, you know you're crazy. You know you're crazy. Welcome back for another episode of Drive and Girl Talk. In this video, I wanted to talk about something that I personally went through and something that's especially really hard for me. If you're a very friendship oriented person, then you're very like me in a way because I'm super friendship oriented. I've never really been relationship oriented, but for some reason with friends, it really, really gets to me when I start losing friends or when I start growing apart from friends just because I hold friends very dear to my heart. And last year, 2019, was a year where I really started losing friends back to back to back. And I was like, okay, like, what is going on? Like, I never lose any friends. I've had the same friends since forever. Like, I'm very much somebody who has friends for like, a long ass time. My shortest quote unquote friendship was like two years. I really keep friends for like forever, so I don't really fall out from anybody. So when that was happening in 2019, I was like, what is going on? So I wanted to make this video for anybody who is, you know, losing friends or you are just naturally growing apart from somebody. I wanted to have a video that will help you get through it and to just give you some pointers and tips and my personal advice on the situation. So if you're not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do that. I have this new series you're watching right now, episode two, and it is Drive and Girl Talk. So if you're really into girl chats or girl talks, please subscribe to my channel so you know that there will be a new episode. Right now in the quarantine, I'm trying to do like an episode every week, but I can't promise you guys that it'll be every week because I usually just post twice a week, but you know, I'm doing three because I have nothing to do. If you're really, really into girl chats and you just need some uplifting words, I'm here for you, girl. It's like we're having a little FaceTime call or we're on the phone, you know, just discussing things. Like, I love talking to you guys. I love reading your comments and everything. So let's just jump straight into this video. The biggest lesson in losing friendships is to choose your friends more wisely, you know? You always have to make sure that you and this person are aligned and have more things alike than things that not alike. Because when you have more alike with a person, you know, and you're a very positive person, uplifting person, it is very easy to connect to people who are similar to you, you know? And it's kind of hard to connect with people who are not similar or people who are, you know, more negative or or anything like that so you always want to connect with people that you feel like could benefit you and just not even in a way where it's like oh yeah I can always have something to gain from somebody not in that kind of sense where you're always taking taking from somebody but you can always gain different things from a person it doesn't always have to be physical it can be knowledge it could be you could gain confidence you can gain different skills being friends with somebody so it's so important to be friends with people who you could literally leave the relationship and always take away something positive from it you never want to leave a relationship and be like okay what the hell was that like I gained nothing I learned nothing that was such a big waste of my time and I wouldn't wish this on anybody you never want to leave a relationship like that always leave a relationship with knowledge so definitely next time choose your friends wisely make sure these are people that even if y'all fall out you will always respect that they've taught you something so this is for people who haven't really lost the friend but they feel like it's getting towards that point or they feel like it's time to cut them off. You need to identify the real problem in the relationship because a lot of times people are very biased. You know, even in your life when you're telling somebody your problems with somebody, they love you so they're extremely biased and of course they'll always take your side. So what you wanna do is if you can get somebody who has kind of an outside perspective or a friend who's not always kissing your ass, you need to ask people, okay, was I in the wrong? Like, is this a wrong situation? You need to start identifying the problem in your friendship. And you need to start, you need to see relationships as an equal in getting 
giving and receiving. So what I mean by that is if you tend to find yourself always giving to people and never getting the same in return, these are not good relationships to have in your life. Because when you give, 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 you're so burnt out. You feel like, oh my God, I never get this back. Like, I'm so tired of this ish. I need somebody to give me the same energy, you know? And that's when you start bottling things up and just being passive aggressive. You never want to get to that point. So start really highlighting that you need to get as much as you give and you know you need to do the same for others what they do for you never put all this energy into somebody and you're getting a little teensy little bit back understand okay do I need to cut this person off or do I just need some time away from this person? Because a lot of time, you just need some time away. It doesn't mean just because you guys got in the little argument, you know, just because you guys don't agree on a situation, doesn't mean that, okay, it's time to cut this person off, fuck them, da da da, -da. A lot of times, you just need that space in your life. A lot of times, you just need distance from a person because you guys are in two different spaces in your life. It does not mean that it's time to cut them off and never talk to them again, but it just means that right now in life, you guys are not well-rounded friends and you guys get along well in only one part of the friendship. So say, for example, you guys met in school, so you guys became study buddies, you guys are very like, work oriented like etc but this girl or like boy whoever your friend is has a lot of relationship issues and you just don't identify with that and you're tired of hearing about relationship 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 and it's just to the point where you're like I'm drained like I can't hear about your problems anymore this is why it's very important to just highlight what parts in your life that your friend belongs in not every friend belongs in every part in your life some friends are just like okay this is my work friend or okay this is just my school friend this is just my study buddy this is my workout buddy not necessarily I'm gonna go to this person for relationship problems like it's not always like that a lot of people just aren't like that diverse and like how they can be your friend and that's perfectly fine it doesn't mean that they're a bad person it doesn't mean that you guys have to stop talking it just means that they are a different type of friend for you you guys just may be in different phases in your life and you may just come together later in life. Now, this is something I really, really learned is that not everyone belongs in every single phase in your life. No matter how much you love somebody, not everyone could fit in every phase because you go through so much stuff that it's just so different. You're just so different in every single phase in your life. So say you guys both met when you guys were really happy and really up in life and you guys were just getting success after success in like your work your career school and everything like that but now they're going through a point where they're having their relationship issues or like they're having family issues anything that they could be and you're just like look I love you but I just cannot identify with that part of your life anymore and it's kind of hard for me to talk to you your friend is not a therapist your friend can't tell you okay this is what you need to do this will help you I'm here to listen to you all day people have lives you guys like they can't help you all the time so don't feel like just because you know they're not giving you good advice it means that they're like a bad person and they don't care about you they do care about you it's just that they're not qualified like a professional to help you with your life don't worry too much about oh um, this person did this and this to me back in the day and now they're just going through so much success in life they have so much right now it looks like everything is looking up for them you have to understand people have their karmas in different times in their life don't expect everything to go downhill for them just because they did you wrong you know it will come with time and it comes when the universe is ready to do that to them and I've always felt like healing and friendships, especially like your best friend or anything like that, it's so much harder than relationships because this is a person who knew you through so many phases in your life and sometimes your boyfriend slash or girlfriend or whatever just doesn't understand you like a friend does. A friend is supposed to be there for you no matter what. It's very platonic, it's very genuine. You know, friends can be your soulmates, best friends could be your soulmates, so it hurts really bad when you lose a soulmate period so it's like don't judge yourself 
yourself too hard about healing. Just understand that this person just wasn't meant to be in your life and you are meant for something greater. People just grow apart, that's a part of life and that's a part of learning that lesson that nobody in life is permanent. Everybody is in a way temporary, a lot of people are temporary and basically life is just a learning lesson. You will meet good friends along the way you will meet different kinds of people you will see what fits for you and what doesn't you know some friends are lifelong some aren't and that's totally fine as long as you are okay with yourself and as long as you have standards within a friendship you will be totally fine because people feel like they shouldn't have standards in a friendship because friends are the bare minimum but at the same time I do feel like a friendship is the easiest relationship to have but you definitely need standards within a friendship I need my friend to be supportive I need my friend to be nice I need my friend to be energetic anything that you feel like you need within a friendship you need to demand that from people and if they can't provide that you'd be like okay well I can't be your friend but you know I can be acquainted with them you know I could know them and we could like chat here and there but I'm not gonna call them my friend be very careful with that friend word because you want to only call certain people your friend you want to only share your life with certain people you don't want to just share it with anybody because not everybody deserves that girl not everybody deserves being called your friend okay literally I can't tell you how many times where I was like bro I'm so broken that me and this person aren't friends anymore and I just don't know what to do like will I ever get over not being their friend like I don't know and like six months later I don't even think about them anymore and it's like you think that the time is going by really slow but it's not because every day just passes and passes next thing you know it's two months another day passes and passes next thing you know it's five months and now it's six you know what I mean so don't judge yourself too harshly just give yourself time and understand that nothing is permanent every feeling is temporary and the longer you go without somebody the longer you can go without somebody so it's completely fine to feel those emotions of oh my god I miss them oh my god I miss doing this with them da -da -da -da. but if they're really toxic in your life that's it girl you have to just move on you have to cut it off better will come just trust that and just love yourself enough to demand better from people i literally just went to go get some milk tea and that's it i got strawberry milk tea and that hoe is so good so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any more recommendations for the next video please let me know make sure to follow me on my instagram so you can vote what the next girl episode will be because I do a lot of polls on my Instagram so you guys go ahead and follow me there so you can help me decide the next topic I will hit on I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope this helped you even in a little way please give me a like if you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button comment down below your thoughts anything like that and I will see you guys in my next video bye